Welcome to Customer Service 101 Workshop. I hope that you are able to enjoy learning new things in our workshop and help you in future. Since that we are taking hotel management course, so our workshop will be related to the hotel. My part, I will be talking about the step of the excellent service in front desk. I will be talking about the step of the excellent service in restaurant. I will be talking about the step of the excellent service in the food operators department. I'm the one who makes you happy. <laughs> so, before we start our workshop, if you have any question during in our workshop, you can just raise up your hand and ask. As long as your question is related to our topic. So, let's start. <laughs> Everybody already done? Okay. 
Congratulations, this guest might be a very fussy guest or VIP guest. You need to handle with care and may God bless you. So, last but not least, DDNC, die, die, not change. Might be the guest preference, they like bathtub, they like the room number, they, they like the corner room. Let's say if you saw DDNC appear in the guest profile, do not change their room. So let me share my experience regarding this cashier competition. So during that time, I'm working in Hotel Gen as an internship. So I did not know anything. So one day, a guest approached my counter. He said he would like to check in. So I just do the basic step and suddenly he asked me, um, I'm booking a king size bed, did I get a king size bed? So in the system, I saw this. The XK, the XK which is meaning deluxe king size bed. The XK which is meaning deluxe two single bed. But this code is depends by the hotel. Just to let you know that this one is a king size bed and this one is a two single bed. So, pressure command right to over bed. But however, I did not know what is the meaning of combo bait and casual comment meaning. So I thought that the reservation want me to tell the guest is a combo bait. It is a combo bait. So I just straight away tell the guest, sir, your room is a combo bait. So after he know that the room is a combo bait, he very angry. He complained to my manager and my manager also very angry. Because during that time might be a high occupancy. They do have a king size bed. So the reservation informed the housekeeping to convert the bed together, become a king size bed. However, when you convert together, this code also will remind, remain two single bed. It won't be changed to suddenly change to convert bed code or king size bed code. So this is the reason why you need to see cash and comment so carefully. Not only you need to focus on convert bed, even like room to travel, room charge to travel agent, room charge for company. Let's say you already just already paid for a travel agent. However, you double charge the gas. So if you collect cash, you can return in cash. However, if you collect credit card, it need to take two months and a half to let the money bounce back the account. Overseas credit card more local, like Union Pay, America Express. So cash comment is very important, you need to be careful. <laughs> After check everything, step three, ask guests to fill in their detail. For example, <coughs> sir or ma'am, would you mind doing me a favor? Can you help me to fill in your detail? Guests need to fill in three things, email, phone number, and address. So, IC number and a passport number and a date of birth, you just based on the IC and the <coughs> passport number. So over here, this is the passport number. This is the passport number. So I believe that IC number, you all already know where is the IC number, right? So, <coughs> don't forget to key in the nationality. Nationality is very important because due to last year, the September offers already start tourism tax. So, do you all have any idea what is tourism tax? Tourism tax is applied for foreigner. The amount will be 10 ringgit per room per night. Local no need to pay. So the hotel did not take any benefit from the tourism tax. All the tourism tax will be given to the government. So after keying everything, step four, detail reconfirm with guests. You need to reconfirm four things. Arrival and departure time, number of the pets staying in the room, room type that the guest booking, and the room rate. For example, sir or ma'am, I would like to reconfirm with your booking. You are staying with us two nights budget day will be on October 7. So two persons staying in a room. So it's a deluxe, you are looking with us a deluxe king size bed. The room rate will be 300 per room per night. So after detail, we confirm with the guest. Step five, MOP, mood of pay. For example, sir or ma'am, you would like to settle your bill in a credit card or cash. So before you collect money from the guest, write down clearly what the guest need to pay. For example, 300 times 2 equals 400. So this one is the room rate, this one is the night. Let guests more clear what they need to pay. 
200 times 2 equals 400. Total, guests need to pay 1,000. So this 200 is a deposit amount, but it's also the base on the hotel. Some of the hotel maybe collect 150 ringgit, but based on my experience, 50 ringgit only for budget hotel. For 3 star to 5 star already have 100 to 200. Let guests know this deposit is refundable if the guests don't have any miscellaneous charges. So you might be very curious how to collect deposit from a credit card. First, because usually credit card just swipe, right? How to collect deposit? It's refundable, right? So first, you need to know about this machine. Second, you need to know three things. key of sell key and sales key. Free authorization key which is meaning you hold the money from the guests using the credit card. For example, upon checking, you pre-out 500. Upon checkout, the guest billing is 400. So negative 100 will be automatically bounced back the guest account for refund. So how to deduct this 400 amount which is you need to use off sell key to deduct the pre-authorization key. So this is the way how you collect deposit from credit, from credit card. So are you guys still on the track? Yes. Is it I'm too fast or is it not clear? So if let's say the guest did not want to pay, hold any amount, they want to straight away just charge the bill amount, use sales key. Okay? So, step six, pass the key card to the guest. For example, sir or ma'am, your room is ready. So this is your key card. The first digit will be your level. Last two digit will be your room number. So we'll be located at level three. Take the link, go up and turn right. So do not mention room number. It is for the security purpose. As I believe majority just now already wrote, do not mention the room number, right? Step 7. <coughs> Ask guests if they need any luggage assistance. And step 8. Escort guests to the lift and wish the guests have a nice day. So this is the end of the step of the excellent service in checking process. So before I go to the checkout process, you all have any question? Regarding the checking process, is it not clear or you might want me to explain again? No. Yes, uh, we are clear. So, now I'll be talking about the step of the excellent service in checkout process. If you already know well for the check-in process, checkout process will be definitely easier for you. The step also will be less. Step 1. Greeting guests with a smile. Step 2. <laughs> ask the guest for the room number. For example, Sir or ma'am, can I get your room number, please? And we confirm with the guest, is it this room is belong to the guest? Like, for example, a uh, sir or ma'am, this room is it under maybe Kashuan? So if it's a wrong name, oh, might be the guest remember the wrong, wrong room number. Step three, show the link to the guest.
already. Okay, already? Okay. Okay. Do you have any question? Why is that in a red wing? Is it a new wing? Sorry, it's a red wing. Do you have any question you can ask me? Why, why uh, we need to have the correct procedure to serve red wine? Oh, okay. This is because to show professional when you are serving the guest. And there are a few steps to serve the wine. Uh, I will demo to you now. Okay. <coughs> Argentina. Okay, so second, you have to step back. Step back, open the Y. After you open the Y, sorry, okay. after you open the Y, you have to ask the, the, the guest who ordered the Y with you, uh, did you want some a little try to ensure the quality of the Y? Then, okay. Okay, you want right? Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, you want right? So, uh, so you have to after after you serve the guest. If the guest is a guy, right? You 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 just pour a little bit for him first. Then after that you serve the lady first. Remember, please serve the lady first. Don't serve the guy. Then not the lady will ah, you know lah. <laughs> so okay. the second thing, when you serve the wife, one time you have to wipe one time, five time, five time, ten time, ten time. So you get tired, but then it, this is a must. After you serve the wife to the guest, you close the wife for the guest and put it on the table and say thank you. This is the correct procedure to serve the wife. Because I was before in general. Do you know, right, if as a, the cook here is some, yeah, some yeah, have the yeah. hook? Okay, this the so this procedure is only for red wine or also for white wine? Uh, white for all wine. kinds of wine? Yeah, for white wine also. So when you are submitting this, make sure you put that all kinds of wine. Oh, because okay. sometimes not only red wine, there's other procedures also. Okay. Same for reason all wine, right? So you see red alone, I thought what red is very special. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, thank, thank you for you. your attention.
lower authority gas than a high authority gas, the high authority gas will feel embarrassing. So in some events, you all have to very remember you have to serve the high position first. Okay. Next question. <coughs> Question remind me about some things. So I am I was a internship student in Jet Hotel. So I have working experience in hotel industry before. This question remind me about a guest from London. Uh, he ordered an owner with me, but due to that time, the kitchen department lack of workers. So he waited for 45 minutes just for an owner, and he started to piss off and shout in the public and refer to see my manager. So after my manager settled down all things, he started to eat the omelette and realized that there are no cheese in the omelette and I, I just realized that he requested me to add some cheese in the omelette but I feel to inform to the kitchen so he started to piss off again <laughs> and shut in front of me like very loud <laughs> okay, I'm very scared la. and he requested to see my manager again so as you can see, because of my small careless, I didn't inform the things to the kitchen it caused a very serious matter in my department, which is food and beverage department. So you have to stay 100% concentrate when you are serving a guest. It's very important. If not, it will cause a very serious benefit. Okay. Next question. No? Hello? No? <laughs>
in a precious and courteous manner. And this is to projecting your professionalism and giving a long-lasting first impression to the caller. So, for example, okay, Kachu, you might to give your, uh, you might to use your phone to give me a call. <laughs> So for the 
emergency line arrived, so that several madam that is we will act on this matter immediately. Thank you for calling. So this is the end of the excellent service.